Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about Bloodsport, the movie that put John claude Van Damme on the map and started his uh, career going in the right direction. Uh, before this one, he only started in one other movie that was uh, No to Retreat, No Surrender, where he was the villain. Uh, just a quick information, Bloodsport almost did not get made as people thought it was terrible. And so Van Damme went in there, he had to do some editing and he was able to get it released. I should say almost didn't get released, but due to Van Damme's ability to edit this, it was released. This also stars uh, Forrest Whitaker, uh, he's like a CIA agent. And then it also stars, um, man, the guy who plays Jackson, he was in Revenge of the Nerds, or he was in the Nerds movies. I uh, can't remember the actor's name, sorry about that guy. Uh, but anyways, uh, this movie was supposed to be about a true story about a guy named Frank Duke who was in the military. And he goes and fights in an underground uh, martial arts tournament and such. And he supposedly did all these records and had all these victories and won all these tournaments. And it turns out that that is mostly fabricated. However, that doesn't mean that the story isn't pretty good. The story is actually pretty good. Uh, and But it's mostly good because of the fighting scenes. Uh, the first 10, 15 minutes of this story is kind of hard to uh, watch, uh, especially because it's the flashback of when Van Damme's character was like a teenager and the acting was uh, very bad. I mean, I'm not a guy, I only can tell very bad acting and very good acting. If it's mediocre, I don't really know, you know. If it has to be like horrendous acting or very great for me to realize it's something like an actor's doing a great job. Uh, and yeah, the flashbacks, the younger Van Damme character, actor is horrendous, uh, to say the least, that whole sequence. But if you make it past those 10 to 15 minutes, the, great, the movie is very good. Uh, Van Damme really shines in this movie. All his scenes is, you know, he is, definitely makes this movie go and work. It's no wonder why after this movie, he was able to get more action roles and be a part of more movies. Uh, the guy looks great, as you see here in the background. Uh, the fact that he has never been like awarded like the sexiest man alive just tells you that uh, who, whatever magazine does that don't know what they're talking about. This guy looks great in every way. And this is coming from a straight guy. I wish I had his body, but I'm too lazy to get that body. So um, maybe someday, I'm getting kind of old, but maybe someday I'll get chiseled like Van Damme was in this movie and in his other movies as well. He still is a pretty chiseled guy. Uh, but this movie uh, really shines in the fighting sequences. Uh, Frank Duke, though he might have lied about his background, I think he did a great job in um, the stunt coordinations. And when these two fighters, uh, during this whole tournament, sorry, uh, we get to see like different uh, fighting styles in this. We get the kickboxing style, you get the street fighter style of uh, fighting. And um, then you get that guy from Africa. I don't know what country, so I'm just gonna say Africa. I know Africa has many countries. Uh, Cause it's a, it's a continent, but you know, he's from that continent. I don't think it's, it might be Congo. Maybe it's the Congo. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, you know, he got his own, he got his own style of fighting. He got a guy from France, uh, and and then, uh, well, anyways, you got all these martial artists together and you get to see these different styles going at it. And of course, uh, you know, you got your main big villain who everybody's scared of. He's going around killing people. Uh, it's the, well, he kills one person purposely injuring other people. Uh, if you're a big uh, Bruce Lee fan, he was in Enter the Dragon. I should have done a better job of writing my notes and remembering him uh, because he was in that movie. And he's all, and uh, the actor is, I'll put this in the description, you know, cause he's a great, you see him a lot in martial arts movies and he's always the villain guy, uh, but he does a great job in this. And uh, he's really, I remember watching this as a kid, really being afraid that he was going to hurt Van Damme. I mean, because he does his uh, job really well. And I'll, I'll, have this, I'll have his name in the description because uh, I'm doing a great disservice by not mentioning his name. Um, but you no, know, he does a great job of playing the villain. Uh, he's very uh, believable that he's this tough, reckless guy who will just destroy anything and that he enjoys breaking people's bones and such. 
Uh, so this movie, you know, when we do reviews on this channel, we usually give it a a uh, recommend, recommend of caution, and not recommend at all. Uh, if you're a big Van Damme fan, I highly recommend this movie. If you like uh, martial arts and stuff, I would recommend this um, movie as well. But if you're somebody who's looking for like a good story, a good plot and stuff, uh, you know, fantastic acting, mm, I probably wouldn't. Uh, this is I wouldn't recommend it at all. That's how I'm going. That's how I'm going to review this one. But uh, I mean, when I watch this movie, I don't watch. Well, I don't watch a Van Damme movie for acting, and I rarely watch it for the plot. Uh, it's, not all his movies. Some of his movies got a good plot. I really like Time. Was it Time Cop or something like that? And uh, other ones like um, Lionheart. So I do enjoy his movies. But this is one of those movies you sit back, eat popcorn, and enjoy watching people fight. Um, you know, if nothing, if no UFC thing is on at all, it's uh, it's a great thing there. Uh, this uh, movie does also have a small commentary about the media at this time because we do have like an investigator reporter, and she's very biased in her opinion she just wants to like write something about how horrible this is how it's uh something that should be outlawed and everybody should be ashamed of themselves for doing this and uh you know van damme kind of talks into her saying you're not even you know van damme has a line to her saying you're not even trying to understand why we're doing this you know you're going in with a closed mind you should be more open-minded uh, so they just have that kind of commentary on the media aspect and also for us in the martial arts world it has a commentary on that you know there's a right way for why you want you should learn how to fight and stuff and that's kind of like you know the Van Damme's camp and his friends and then you have the wrong way on why you should want to learn martial arts and that's kind of like our villains uh, philosophy just wouldn't go around beating people hurting people and stuff like that uh, the judges are very much, you know, in the Van Damme camp, as we see that they disapprove of our villain's actions. And so, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy Bloodsport. If I haven't seen it before and you do like action movies, this is a mo great movie for you to watch. Uh, you'll love it. Just like I said, you got that flashback. It's about 10 to 15 minutes where the acting's horrendous. Uh, but once you get back to the present day with Van Damme and For Forrest Whitaker and um, those guys, you'll enjoy it again. Van Damme really shines uh, in this movie. It's probably my second or third favorite Van Damme movie. But uh, anyways, have a great day and adios. Bye.